Greetings, friends in Christ. As we continue early on in Lent, we look to others for inspiration. And on this occasion, I would like to point to two great saints, two great friends of Christ, whom we honor in many, many ways, and whose feast days are in the middle of March. On March 17th, we have St. Patrick, and on March 19th, we have St. Joseph. Their images are here before us. They are beloved. And first we'll focus on St. Patrick. What a great saint. One who was kidnapped early on in life and held in, we might call slavery today, human trafficking for six years before he escaped, returned back to Britain from Ireland where he had been enslaved and later on in his life when he became a priest he decided that he's going back to the land of Ireland and he's going to evangelize and so he did and what became that wonderful Celtic culture infused with the gospel continues to thrive even until today. St. Patrick his deeds are well known his words he left us his confession and he left us a letter to Caraticus. Now the letter to Caraticus was to the British soldiers to stop maltreating the Irish Christians. Now that's a lesson for the ages. His confession reveals the side of him that is a mystic. One very special part, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ above me, Christ below me. Christ at my left, Christ at my right. And then a prayer that all who would hear him would hear him with the ears of Christ, would see him with the eyes of Christ, would know him through the heart of Christ. Truly a, a great saint and one today we call upon to bless Ireland and to bless all who look to him that he may point them to Christ. And coming from the Northeast, St. Patrick's Day is one big celebration. It's the Mardi Gras of that entire Northeast region of, region of our country. So again, may St. Patrick and all the saints bless those who celebrate his legacy. St. Joseph, the solemnity. We know St. Joseph, the scripture has him before us so often and especially during the Christmas season. He is the patron of the Universal Church. He's a patron of fathers and women who are pregnant, of migrants and refugees and immigrants because the Holy Family experienced that. And of course carpenters, engineers, and many who labor. So we certainly honor St. Joseph and during March a very special custom is the St. Joseph Altar. Begun by people from the southern part of Italy who experienced the famine in the 1600s and calling upon St. Joseph they were able to work their way out of that and since that time the altar to St. Joseph has been part of tradition even till today and on that altar are placed very special breads and foods in the shape of the heart of Jesus and Mary and of all different tools. Very creative expression, great love for St. Joseph. And again, for immigrants, refugees, let us remember all in our war-torn countries of our world, especially the Ukraine these days, that through the intercession of St. Joseph there may be peace. So we have two great witnesses, two great friends of our Lord Jesus during this time of Lent. May they inspire us to draw closer to the Lord in a season of conversion and new life. God bless you.